Hi, I'm Natasha and I'm a yoga teacher. I've been teaching Hatha Yoga since 2006 and I teach on average 10 classes a week um, made up of one-to-one -one students and also classes. Um, I teach a lot of people with bad backs and also a lot of runners. So they are my particular kind of passions really. Um, and I really believe in how yoga can help you mentally as well as physically. So um, enjoy the videos. Um, there are lots to choose from and hopefully you can kind of do a couple um, at a time. Thank you. Yoga is really nice to do um, when you're pregnant and a lot of women discover yoga for the first time in their pregnancy. Um, I passionately believe that it can help with those kind of pregnancy ailments that, that you might have like a, an aching back um, or just feeling a little bit aching and, and not great. Um, I have had two children and without doubt yoga helped me with labour but also with kind of how I felt du during the day. However, what I would say to any woman, um, doing yoga does not guarantee a perfect birth or, or anything. Um, as with all exercises, it, and particularly in pregnancy, you should absolutely just speak to your midwife and, and make sure that you are okay to, to do the, the poses that I suggest. Um, I hope that it helps with you and thank you very much for watching. Hi, this is a 10 minute pregnancy um, workout really. So yoga is wonderful to, to do daily if possible in your pregnancy. Um, but I know from when I've been teaching pregnant women over the years, we often kind of get home and we forget. So this is just a combination of some of the gentle seated stretches that we might well do in class and also some of the hands and knees stretches too. So the first thing to do in, in your pregnancy is to kind of think about your, your posture. So when you're sitting cross-legged like so, thinking about a nice straight back, so rather than kind of slouching backwards, really thinking about that kind of height here as you sit. Um, if you need to, if your knees are much higher than your hips, then it's worth sitting on a block or a folded blanket or a cushion. Um, if your back has been aching a little bit as well, you can also lean against the wall. Okay, so you just really want to try and keep that back nice and straight. And then the first kind of stretch, which is really, really lovely to do, is, is just gently coming forward. So just from a cross-legged position, we're just breathing in and just lifting, so just kind of creating a little bit of space to invertebrate the spine and breathing out and coming forward. So obviously as you go further on in your pregnancy, you might find you don't go as far forward. That's absolutely fine. Um, and normal. Okay, so just think about this kind of lovely stretch here. And in this position, maybe just focus in on breathing through your nose. Okay, so ideally the mouth is closed, just breathing through your nose. And then just inhaling and exhaling and walking your hands. Up. Okay, so you'll find in, in pregnancy we won't kind of hold the stretches as long as we would in a kind of normal yoga class. And um, the next thing we're going to do is very gently stretch the, the sacrum, so the low part of the back, which often gets really tight and congested during pregnancy. So you're going to leave your right leg in front of you and just bring in your left leg round to the side. And um, so again, some people do struggle with this position. So if you find this, this hit, this left hip is lifting from the floor, again, a, a block or a blanket. And you're trying to think about keeping your pelvis nicely aligned. If this is bothersome for your knee, you can also just take that kind of adaptation as well. So just kind of like move your leg forward if, if you need to. Once you feel nice and comfortable here, again, inhaling, we lift and just exhaling and round to the side. So it's not a big twist at all. And obviously in pregnancy, we're not trying to do a big twist. It's just a very gentle little release for that low back. And again, we just exhale and around we come. Okay, and then just gently coming out of that and swapping over. So left leg in front and right leg to the side slightly. Again, you might find this side, you need the block where you didn't a moment ago. So adjust as you need to, so your hips are, are equally on the floor shoulders back nice and tall let's just inhale and lift and exhale and round so again just lightly placing your right hand just on your on your knee or your thigh it's not a big 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 twist here at all just gently releasing the low part of the back
And again with exhalation, we'll come back round. So this is a really nice stretch just for um, kind of a little bit of movement through your pelvis and your back as well. So, so bringing your legs forward and try to make sure your feet are flat on the floor and a hip width apart. Okay, so really kind of try to focus on that. And you're just placing your hands underneath your knees, just at the tops of the legs here. And from here, we're gonna just breathe in. So we're just kind of just looking up here. So kind of just arching gently through your back. And then we're exhaling and rolling back. So chin to the chest. Up. And back. And again, just breathing in and looking up. And back and hold. So again, chin down, just focus on your breath. And then just exhaling and release. Wonderful. And then, um, into butterfly position or badakanasana as it's also called. So feet together, knees apart. Again, you can do this against the wall, really, really nice in pregnancy to, to lean against the wall or again, sit yourself on a block or a, or a pillow or a folded blanket. So this, this basically works all the muscles that you use during labour, okay? So it's a really, really wonderful stretch to do. It's also really great um, kind of once, once you kind of get to 34 weeks plus to hopefully maybe encourage baby down into that pelvis, okay? So using that room in, in the pelvis. And we're gonna come forward again. So we're just inhaling and lifting. And again, just exhaling and forward. So again, keeping that back nice and straight and focusing on your breath. And just check in, make sure that your back feels okay. If it does, then you don't have to kind of do the, the, the forward stretch. Again, if you feel it in your knees, then stay up high. You can even put a blanket underneath the knee just to offer a bit of support, okay? So just make sure that you, that you feel kind of as comfortable as possible. And then just gently up we come. Wonderful. And then from here, we're gonna take the legs wide. So as wide as is comfortable. So obviously in pregnancy, um, we release the um, relaxing hormone. So just be conscious that you're not overstretching. And, and generally, the kind of the, the rule of thumb is, is go to kind of where you would before you were pregnant. So if you're suddenly thinking, oh, I could do things I've never done before, then maybe don't do that. Just, just rein it in a little bit. Again, same as, as before. If you're feeling not so good kind of in, in your hips or in your back, sit yourself on a folded um, blanket or, or a block. Okay, try again to keep your toes to the ceiling and your knees up as well. Again, just these are all these seated stretches are all about strengthening your body and kind of, you know, preparing your body, obviously increasing that flexibility through those hips and pelvis might, might will help for, um, for, for childbirth as well. So absolutely no guarantees, of course. And then hands onto the floor in front of you, inhale, lift and exhale and forward. Again, check in with your body, make sure you feel okay through your back toes up, knees up, and just breathe in. So again, it's quite useful kind of birth preparation. If you find this is a really big stretch, focus on where you feel the stretch in your body and think about the exhalation. So as you breathe out, just that kind of focusing on, on not holding your breath and, and clenching, just soften and breathe. And then just inhale and exhale, up we come. Good, and then we're gonna just bring the legs in. Okay, so just taking a moment here, and then we're gonna to move to hands and knees. So hands and knees is a pregnant woman's friend, as, um, and it's also great for labor. Okay, so our mothers, grandmothers, would have been told to kind of um, scrub the floors, and that was all about the positioning of the baby. So absolutely wonderful for, for that. So your hands are shoulder width apart, your back is flat and your knees are underneath the hips. If you um, feel this in your hands at all, or your wrists, walk your hands further forward, take the pressure off. If you have got um, a carpal tunnel, kind of common ailment in pregnancy, then do this stretch on your elbows instead. 
Okay, so from here, we're just going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're just circling round with the hips. So really nice. Again, if your lower back is tight, which is really, really common in, in pregnancy. And great for improving that flexibility in the hips as well. So we're just circling round and round. So doing this stretch daily is, is fantastic. Okay, and then I do the hands and knees each day. And then just press back into extended swan or adapted child pose. So bottom on your heels, folding your arms and lift, resting your head on your folded arms, making sure your knees are nice and wide. So a really great 10 minute daily stretch for, for your pregnancy is, is, is this. And then just when you're ready, just coming up. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, there are quite a few to choose from, so it might be really nice to do a sequence um, of three or four each day, if you possibly can.